Hello, Capital Wasteland. It is I, Emerald. Oh. I still like Fallout 3 better than Fallout 1, but that's okay. Because Fallout 3 is like literally perfect and there's nothing wrong with it, so of course it's going to be better. This game is still loud. I swear to God I just made this quieter. I, why didn't it save? Okay. Jesus. I'm like dying here. Oh, well, I guess we're... <laughs> yeah, if we, I guess. We're still ready to talk to Ian. Okay. So when we left off. We left off. Um, what did we do last time? We talked to Ian, uh, like the head of the guards. So we kind of explored around Sh uh, Shady Sands. I can never remember. I remember it in GTA 5. There's a place called Sandy Shores, I think. And this place is called Shady Sands. And I played a lot of GTA. So that's where I'm getting them so confused. This is Shady Sands. And so I, I kind of had to look around Shady Sands. We read a skill book, which was pretty cool. There's a lot of, like, zombie peasants around. It's weird. I ap apparently agreed to take on a rad scorpion thing. I don't know. For no pay. I don't know how that guy talked me into that. He was some weird, like, guru shit. Um, but here's Ian. We talked a little bit. But I think he's, like, the head of the guards. So we're going to talk to him a little bit more. Um, so let me see. Tell me about the raiders. So there was bandits that he mentioned last time after I shut the episode off because I, there was no dialogue to actually stop talking to him. So I had to have him tell me about bandits, but I didn't actually read it. So I'm kind of hoping that I get to hear about the bandits again because I didn't actually read, but apparently there are bandits too. But maybe that's what he means by raiders. Let's talk about the raiders. There are three groups, the cons, the vipers, and the jackals. What? The is are the Vipers again? I feel like the Vipers are getting New Vegas, and so are the Jackals. And the Cons, obviously, are New Vegas. That's crazy. That's crazy. They tie these games in so much. Um, they pretty much hate each other, but they all raid Shady Sands. Well, tell me more about Shady Sands. Shady Sands is a small but self-sufficient community. The only trouble here is with the Manons and Rad Scorpions. Why are the Rad Scorpions trouble? Rad Scorpions are very dangerous. I mean, I know why they're trouble, dude. I'm still fucking traumatized it's been like a week and a half since i played this game i'm fucking i'm not i'm not happy with them at all i'm not happy i took that quest but what am i gonna do not do every quest i'm jesus red scorpions are very dangerous they have a poisonous stinger in the tail and they are very quick Aridesh has been trying to find a way to get rid of them if you feel brave you could talk to Aridesh about them well Aridesh just pointed me to the guy that hates not sleeping so i don't know what to do i need to talk to the guy that likes to sleep i'm not done talking to you you are so eager um, let's see. Uh, are there many bandits? There are several. They come from various groups. They steal our food and occasionally shoot a few people. Wow, that's not good. Seth organized the guards to help fight them off. Ah, this must have been what I didn't read. Can you tell me about Seth? And there are different groups. Who are they all? Well, we already know who they are. Um, can you tell me about Seth? Seth is a very brave fighter. He occasionally goes to the rad scorpion caves to kill a few rad scorpions, but they always wind up coming back. They're just too many for him to fight. Isn't Seth... Is, didn't we cover this in episode 5? I swear to God, it's been so long since I played Fallout. It's been like a week and a half, and my brain... I already said that, but like... I can't remember anything that's going on in this conversation. I feel like I've read this in part 5, but I don't know. Um, are the Rad Scorpions really that dangerous? Well, I already got that dialogue tree, but I guess we'll... um, Yeah, thanks. I'm not done. Well, this guy really doesn't like talking to me. I'm not done. Something about the Rad Scorpions, something about Shady Sands. Oh, well, well, I've already got all those. Can you give me directions to the hub and Junk Town? Oh, cool. Let's see. The hub is a big trading center far south of Shady Sands. It's run by several different car caravan groups of merchants. The Water Merchants, the Crimson Caravan. I, I'm not, I hate that this game does. I'm not done reading. The Crimson Caravan. Hey, I know them. And the Far Go Traders. Junk Town is a little south and a ways west. A little south and a ways west. It's small. That's kind of cool that you have to find these places on your own. Like, there's no, like, map marker that you have to go to. It's just like, ah, a little bit south, quite a ways west. I figured the fuck out. I don't know. Uh, but still a good place to drop in for a drink. It's overseen by a fellow by the name of Kilron Darkwater. That looks right. The local shopkeeper, sheriff, and mayor. Thanks. Um, folks... My pop filter on my mic is a little low, so I'm going to adjust that. So hopefully that's not going to sound too awful for you. Okay, that's fixed now. Um, otherwise, you're going to hear the popping of my voice. And that no one wants that. That's going to make you want to die. So um, let's see. So I got to the hub in Junk Town. Hub is straight south. Junk Town is little south, mostly west. Could you help me out a bit? Your experience would be useful. 
Hmm, tempting offer since this place gets boring. Tell you what, standard rates, 100 caps, and you've got a deal. Um, sorry, I'm excited because I I have caps, but I don't think I have 100. Um, how about a piece of the action instead? All right, I'll help you out in exchange for my share of loot. Okay, what are we talking? Let's go. It'll be good to get back into action. He gets his share of loot. Um... Do I want that? Yeah, I definitely want that because we're going to go fight rad scorpions, right? I don't, I'm not a psycho. Let's talk to this guy. Um, this is one of Shady Sands guards. Welcome, stranger. We don't see your kind often. Uh, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Why not? Because of the rad scorpions. Look, Shady Sands don't need your kind from the hub or junk town or wherever you come from. We do pretty good by ourselves. So why are you so rude all of a sudden? The last trader from the hub sold us a malfunctioning irrigation pump. We've had it with your dirty deals. What? I'm not from the hub. Who does this guy think I am? He was so nice, and now he's mean. Well, maybe you aren't. You do seem a little different to me. I'll tell you what. You should talk to Aridesh. He's in the center of town. Dude, everyone wants me to talk to this guy. People love me. Uh, how about this guard? What do you got for me? Uh, thanks. Bye. Not so fast. This is a small community. We don't see strangers often, and we don't really need them if you get my meaning. If you don't have a good reason to be here, you better just keep moving. Hey, I ain't gonna hurt anybody. I wasn't saying that you was gonna. You better just leave us alone. I'm sick and tired of your trash. Prepare to meet your maker. I'll try not to make trouble. Um, I'm not gonna kill him. I don't want to kill him. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be a good boy. I'll try not to make trouble, buddy. Oh my god. What a fucking mess. These people are fucking crazy. Um, what if Shady Sands guards? Are you just gonna be the same way? Why, where, where are you? Oh, it's a, there's a wall there. Okay. Um, welcome, stranger. We don't see you kind of often. Oh, my God. So, they're all, it's all the same dialogue. Okay. Um, let's come over here. Is there anything good here? I don't see anything good. A functional wood-burning stove. Let's see. Is that a pail? why it's a finely crafted pot so i spoke to someone who told me who are you a tandy hey stop stop walking i want to talk to you you cannot get there well then come here i want to talk to this person i can't fucking click Hi. on you ah! i heard there was a traveler in town but i was kind of skeptical until i saw you my name's tandy what's yours oh. Dear, you, you startled me. I'm sorry. You, you just you just came out of nowhere. Okay. Uh, my name is Jonathan. Well, how do you like our little town? Bored yet? Um, hell yes. There's nothing to do here but watch the Brahmin, mate. I guess it's okay. Well, yes, but it is a bit boring. Um, uh, it's okay, but can I ask you a few questions? Let's open up some dialogue, folks. That's what I'm all about. Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? Um, what else is around these parts? What's going on around here? Have you heard any stories from down south? What, how do you like here? Well, that's it. Um, well, what else is around these parts? There's a bunch of cities down south, but since you're such a great traveler, I'm sure you know that already. Oh, I did know that, actually. Does that no mean problem. I'm a great traveler? Anything else? Um, what's going on around here? Same uh, as Tandy? always. Boring. Well, why don't you leave? What the fuck? Have you heard any stories from down south? This stuff. Oh, thanks. No problem. Anything else? <laughs> okay, how do you like it here? Yeah, it's okay, I guess. I mean, it is home and all, but it's so boring. You know, I want to see the world. Um, is she trying to be a companion with us? Because I just got Ian. Uh, well, I'm I'm sure it's not that bad. If you're so bored, why don't you leave? Well, that's what I'm gonna say. If you're so bored, why don't you leave? Me? Leave? I wish. I don't know enough to leave alone, and no one else wants to go. And worst of all, my father says he would have a heart attack if something happened to me. <laughs> These responses are so funny. Uh, my charisma is not that low, is it? Oh, no, my charisma is a little low. That's probably why. I'm like, Vin, these, these responses suck. <laughs> Tough situation. Can I ask you a few questions, though? Uh, shoot, I have to go. Uh, good luck. I'm going to ask sure, a few questions. Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? Um, that's about well, it. thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. <sighs> See ya. Bye. Well, you could be my companion. I'd, I'd have to randomly select between you and Ian, but, you know, 
You could, you could, you'd be in the, I'd, you, I'd accept you into the lottery at least. So something's going on here. Number one, I want to talk to Gorzo. Gonzo? Gorzo? I, I feel like his name is Gorzo. I don't know. Am I coming here or what? Get over here. Damn. Damn, son. So this guy, it's still nighttime. How do I make it day? Do I have to sleep or do I just have to wait for 10 goddamn years? That's what I don't want to do. Um, let's see. Uh, Ra Razlo. Razlo, I was not right. It's a weird name regardless, right? Wasn't it Eridesh that told me about... Come on, get out of here. Didn't Eridesh tell me about the um, other stuff? There's like Brahmin pens to the north and something else. I don't know. Eridesh, please speak to me. Greetings. What may I help you with, um, this fine Shady about Shady Sands? sands. Is much like a family. What? One that keeps to itself. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Sorry. What kind of things do you have around here? The gardens here? are on the south side. The Brahma pens are north. Although the smell is, I fear, quite intense this time of year. Okay. Um, the gardens are on the south side. Tell me about the gardens. This doesn't. This doesn't work though. I can't really say I have heard of that. <laughs> I I love just I can't really putting. Say I have heard of that. Just putting shit in here, and they just have no idea. Um, anything we else? We are small and self-sufficient, so there is little else to tell. Thanks. Bye. Okay. So, Brahma pens are north. Garden is to the south. I have a rope so I can check the water chip. Dude, I'm getting... There's too much shit. I'm getting fucking, like, lost in possibilities here. So, um, we have... Uh, well, let's let's check out the vault, right? Let's check out the vault. Let's, let's see if we can get that water chip. I don't know where we go for that. Here? No, not there. Here? No. Here. Here works. Uh, and then we're gonna see if I can actually get out of here. If I'm, uh, dude, dude, you are a slow ass. Holy shit! All right, let's get out of here. Let's check out the vault because we bought that rope off the fella. Oh, I have to go up here to the exit grid. Right. Okay. So Brahma pens are apparently to the north, although I don't see any. But it may, it might be. This is what I was wondering too. Oh shit! They added. Oh shit! They added all the shit to my whole well that kind of defeats the purpose i was just saying like how cool it is like oh shit can you believe that they have you explore on your own but there's one thing i wanted to try so firstly i want to go to vault 15 but also i just kind of want to see what would happen if i just went into the middle of nowhere like do i actually go there like can i just go to the desert what's here can i like loot things is there anything to loot bones of a large two-headed cow oh, that's sad so there's just nothing here then. But I can go here if I want to. You see rocks. Rocks! Rocks everywhere you look! Rocks! Let's try this. Let's see. Am I able to search the thing here? I see trash. Um, doesn't look like I can do anything with it. So this is just nothing then. Okay, so you kind of need to go to places specifically or else you're just going to have a bunch of nothing. Is there anything that can be in the desert though? That's kind of what I'm wondering. Like, Oh shit, we need to put shit in our inventory though. So let's go to Vault 15 here. Um, yeah. Oh, I can go to the cavern straight off. Um, yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, so first thing I need to do is go to my inventory because I had to take all my weapons out for that. Okay, folks, we I rewatched a couple of the first memes, right? Um, the first episodes of this. And what I found is we have a couple issues with our build, right? So number one, we have really low luck. We have incredibly low luck. We also have a a trait that makes our attack damage lower, but our critical damage or critical chance. I think it's critical chance higher. Now, that's great, but the problem with that is that I have really low luck. So, I basically have, like, a normal crit chance, which is low, but just lower strength. So, that's why our melee weapons aren't that good. Um, the other problem we have is... Um, I was using guns. Our guns are not that wonderful either and that's not a huge problem except for like things like rad scorpions i couldn't deal any damage to because um this doesn't have any like piercing so i don't know i don't know what to do i don't know what to do about that why do i still have my red scorpion too i don't know but i am a strength build true to my form i do want to use melee it's just when i'm fighting rad scorpions i can't really use melee um, so that's a real shame, but we will do the best we can. I shouldn't have sold my brass knuckles because my unarmed is actually really high because that's one of the, the things I tagged at the beginning. So I have like 103% unarmed skill, 
which I would love to use, but I sold my brass knuckles. So I might go back and buy those back. Uh, I don't know how. Maybe I'd give them the tail or something. I don't know how much the brass knuckles would cost. But um, we are going to check out this door. We're going to run over here. And then I'm going to leave you, leave you on a cliffhanger. We're leaving you on a cliffhanger because it's the end of the episode. But <laughs> we're going to check out this elevator. Go down. Get the water chip in episode 7. So I will see you there. Mm -hmm.